That's a photon ion cocktail. And I, I thought the two were different, Paul. Like, first of all, what's a photon and what's an ion, and how do you put a cocktail together? And do you have to go to school uh, to, to be a mixologist? <laughs> right. Yeah. I didn't have room to put on the on the rocks. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, something for Ion Q. Uh, Ion Q is a uh, quantum company. Their technology is trapped ion. And the two important areas of research and development for Ion Q are scaling up their qubits and uh, networking these uh, ion traps together using photonics. Uh, their overall architecture, their objective for overall architecture is something called the uh, reconfigurable multi-core quantum architecture, like RMCA. Um, and uh, they're, they're, they're well along on that. They just announced uh, one of the major uh, milestones going forward in this architecture, and that's uh, the capability to uh, entangle an ion uh, with a photon, uh, and it's really its first commercial demonstration of uh, that capability. It's been done before, but it's been done in an academic environment. Uh, in this case, what happens is you've got a single photon that entangles with a qubit, and that forms what they call a network node. Uh, and to be worthwhile, that node must be able to have the capability to send uh, that interconnected photons through fiber optics to a hub, and then that hub's going to take that uh, that photon and look at it and manipulate it and measure the state uh, to make sure that they, they, there was actually a, uh, uh, an entanglement that it happened. So anyway, that's the first milestone is uh, being able to um, entangle these two. The next uh, milestone is uh, uh, taking two of these ion-based qubits from separate nodes and then using their, their entangled qubit. So it gets a little bit more complicated. And then that that entangled, that, that photon will be then sent on uh, to be analyzed and uh, and then uh, the, the, it'll um, be interconnected to uh, computational qubits for actually doing the ion, the uh, computation. So so anyway, that's a, that's a pretty important role in what their overall architecture is. They, uh, been part of uh, has been part of their uh, roadmap for quite a while. They, they acquired a company, uh, I think it was last year, a couple of years ago, called uh, Entangle Networks, and uh, the intent was, of course, to uh, acquire that, that technology to be, be able to connect uh, distributed quantum processes together. Paul, what is this? Does this get us to more qubits, or is this about the quality? of those qubits, or, or is it scale? Uh, it's actually both. Uh, it enables them to, uh, to basically scale up. You know, they've got uh, the quantum processing units. They've got the qubits in it. And they're able, and they've got all, they're all pretty high fidelity qubits and everything. So it allows them to scale upwards to, uh, to achieve a scaling objective. So. This is amazing. You know, just think about it. Uh, five years from now, we're going to, we're going to get on this show, Paul, and you're going to be talking about uh, end users running applications that are yeah. infused by, I still, you know, this might be the one that I'm, I'm just completely wrong on, and I don't claim to get them all right, but I, I don't buy into the, uh, we are going to see commercial value uh, within five years. <laughs> I keep using that five years, and, and, yeah. and we'll see. But, uh, of course, if I'm wrong, I'll never bring it up. Uh, but if I'm right, I'll, I'll bring it up. Like You'll do your day. victory lap. Yeah, oh, totally. Got to do the victory lap as an analyst. But, uh, it's like the, uh, the, the Reedbird uh, sensors that we were talking about. I mean, you know, four or five years ago, it was all theory, and now it's a commercial product. So. Yeah, yeah, totally. So we're same thing, and uh, it's going to be very, going to be uh, similar to what AI is doing in terms of driving the uh, technology.